everybody. So tonight I'm going to do a story time and this is dedicated to just a southern girl, Kathy Varner. I wrote her a little story about her and I and it's called The Southern Cooking Duo. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed doing this for you. I did give me a tear because I did have to read it over but let me know what you think. Even the viewers, let me know what you think. It's actually, it's a, it's a good story. So here we go. It's called Southern Cooking Duo. Slim Twiggy, the culinary whiz, teamed up with just a southern girl to create a Christmas feast that would be talked about for years. In a cozy kitchen adorned with festive decorations, they embarked on a culinary adventure. The air was filled with the comforting aroma of pecan pies baking as Slim Twiggy expertly crafted a mouth-watering turkey, while just a southern girl worked on her magic on classic collard greens. Laughter and the clinking of utensils echoed through the kitchen as they swapped stories about their favorite holiday traditions. The duo decided to add a modern twist to traditional recipes. Slim Twiggy introduced a cranberry glaze that transformed the turkey into a masterpiece, while just a southern girl brought out her secret ingredient for cornbread stuffing with a hint of smoked bacon. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the kitchen transformed into a winter wonderland of culinary delights. They plated up a symphony of flavors, honey glazed ham, creamy mashed potatoes, and sweet potato casserole adorned the table. The scent of cinnamon and nutmeg wafted through the air, evoking memories of holidays past. For dessert, Slim Twiggy crafted a decadent eggnog cheesecake, while just a southern girl presented her famous pecan pie with the golden crust glistening under the warm glow of Christmas lights. The duo revealed the joy of creating a meal that not only delighted the taste buds, but also captured the spirit of the season. As friends and family gathered around the festive table, Slim Twiggy and Just a Southern Girl exchanged smiles. <sighs> Sorry, this chokes me up a bit. <clears throat> Slim Twiggy and Just a Southern Girl exchanged smiles <sighs> knowing that their collaborative Christmas dinner had become a cherished tradition, blending the best of culinary expertise and Southern warmth. This is to you, Kathy. I love you, honey. Hi again, you guys. Sorry about that. I got a little teary-eyed and choked me up a little bit. I'm together now. Um, it. This story got to me a little bit. Uh, just a Southern girl and I are we're really good friends. But the thing that choked me up is because they are by themselves at Christmas, and this year i'm going to be by myself with my son so i'm hoping to do a ton of stuff with her because i don't like it when people are alone for christmas so i kind of want just a southern girl and mr tim in my house as i hope as much as they want me in theirs <laughs> so to speak not we're not we can't hug each other or anything but if we can be together so this is why i put out this little story it's just for her. She is my friend. She makes me laugh. She, uh, I'm sure she's made me cry. Yeah, she's made me cry. So I just wanted this just for her, something for her to keep in her heart, personally, just for me. So just a Southern girl, I hope you tear up. I'm <laughs> just saying it didn't make me tear up it, it chokes me up sometimes like this is twice I thought I could hold this together 
but I hope you love it as much as I love doing it. And I will so send you a copy. I will so send you a copy of this little story. So take care. I love you guys. Bye-bye.